GMC Yukon Denali, again equipped with the magnetic ride uh, suspension. So as you can see, the back end is a little bit higher than the uh, front end. So that's why we got the leveling kit from Suspension Max for the one and a half inch lift. So I can start on that and show you how it looks when it's all done. One and a half inch Suspension Max uh, front leveling lift kit, uh, bolts, brackets for the magnetic ride. This is for a Yukon Denali that I'm doing this for. Um, again, just basic leveling kit for the front end. So that's what comes with the kit. Alright, so this is the front end of the Yukon Denali with the magnetic ride. This is the bracket right here. Let's see if I can get a better picture for you. How it's holding on to the magnetic ride system. That's where we're going to be unscrewing and putting that new metal bracket right here, which is going to raise it up a little bit higher. Um, again, so I get a better shot. So that's how it originally is set up. The two bolts we're going to be putting or taking off will be this guy right here, and of course the other one on the other side. Once we unscrew those guys, that little metal shim that's supposed to be that one and a half inch spacer goes right in between these guys right here. So we'll get that set up. I'll show you how that looks in a second. So what I'm doing here is just going to unscrew this magnetic ride uh, screw that's in that bracket so we can install the new bracket and then I'm going to put that bolt back in so it's a little bit higher. So grab this guy and again just unscrew it so it fully comes out. So what I forgot to mention was that you're using a 10 millimeter um, for the bracket unscrew for the magnetic ride and then also with the kit obviously it's a five millimeter allen wrench that you use to screw it onto the existing bracket so when you do that and screw it back in on top that's how it looks so that way it's basically put back where it's supposed to be and it doesn't you know tighten or loosen up your suspension according to the manufacturer who made the kit So the next thing is we're going to be unscrewing these two bolts, this one and this one. It's a 15 millimeter socket on the bottom, which will unscrew this, and of course the other bolt, and that's where the spacing bracket's going to go in between here for the strut. Uh, so I'm just going to unscrew those two bolts and continue on. So when you unscrew one of the bolts, there's this clip that sits on top here. It's got these two little wings that kind of clip in. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver to pop that off. But that way, at least that comes off for you. Because the uh, new kit comes with the new bolt and, of course, nut that, you know, it, it won't be compatible with this. So that just comes off. So we'll take off the other one. So when I unscrewed those two bolts, put in the uh, spacer from the manufacturer kit. Um, again, I had to pry it down a little bit. I just used this big uh, jagged metal bar. Uh, you could use anything, of course. Just put it between the control arm over here. And then there's a little bit of a lip back here. If you push down on it, it gives you the play that you need. So when you space it in there, take in the, uh, the manufacturer bolts that they give you, shoot it right up through there. Again, put the bolt on, and there's your space. And that's how it looks when it's done. And there you have it. One and a half inch lift in the front with the suspension max after it's all completed. So same spacing as you can see throughout the entire back and front gives it a nice leveled appearance.